All right, what is going on, everybody? This is gonna be a quick video on how to get a lo-fi sound using stock FL plugins. So basically, I got a little four-bar MIDI piano track. I personally, personally like Native Instruments Gentlemen. It's like my go-to piano, and that is what I'll be using. So let me let you listen to this little diddle thing I got. Let me exit out of this. Yeah, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on an EQ. We're gonna hit presets. We're gonna hit out radio. Kind of gives you that kind of old school mono sound. I like it. It does what it needs to do. Next, we're gonna use Maximus. And of course, we're going to use the lo-fi preset. See what that sounds like. But it, it, it brings it forward. It gives it that darker sound. I guess you could call it darker. So we're going to use that. Um, and if you notice, it really brings out those transients. So we're going to go ahead and grab Fruity Limiter. And of course, it's already on compressor mode because I like to keep it on there because that's what I use it for, mostly the sidechain. So we're going to go ahead and do a little compression. It really tames those transients. You can see it in the display. I'm just kind of ducking those transients so it doesn't pierce your ear, ear holes. So last but not least, we've got the, uh, we've controlled the transients from the limiter. We got that mono old school sound, but when you have the lo-fi, you kind of got that wobbly effect. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, vibrato, basically. So we needed something for that. And we're going to go for Patcher. I bet y'all don't even use Patcher. So we're going to go ahead and bring up Patcher. Go to the presets. It's real easy. We're going to go over here to Humanizer. And this is what you're set up with. It's really nice. You get four knobs and you don't have to deal with that nonsense. Because that would be crazy but that's basically what's going on under the hood while this is what you need to control it so let's hear what it sounds like now And then you could just tweak these three knobs. I probably wouldn't mess with the stereo too much because if you're going for that mono, uh, lo-fi, old school vintage sound, you're not going to want to separate the stereo image too much. You might do a little bit. Yeah, I'd just leave it mono. But my secret sauce, and no, it's not a... FL Studio plugin. It's a Waves plugin, but I really like it. And it is a Tape Machine J37. This J37 does uh it does a nice EQ effect on it just just standing and I think it really puts that final 
cherry on the top for that vintage sound. So here, listen to it. And honestly, it legitly makes it mono. Like, where, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it in my headphones pretty clear. It's, there's a little bit of stereo separation because the piano itself is a stereo sound. But when you put it through this tape machine, it sends it right to the center. Listen again. I'll take it off first. Honestly, the slower speed is even better, I think. So, yeah, that's it. I want to keep this pretty short. This is how you can achieve a good lo-fi sound for your hip-hop beats or any kind of music you're making if you really want to kind of tap into that sound. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Till the next time.